We had two major releases from Tops this week. Bowman Draft on Wednesday and Tops Chrome Black today. For the price of one Jumbo Bowman Draft box, you can rip about four boxes of black. And that is what we are doing today. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new release video here on Friday and today we are checking out four boxes of the brand new 2023 Topps Chrome Black Baseball. Yes, this one is coming back for either the third or fourth year, I can't quite remember. And this is one I really like. It is part of the Topps Chrome lineup and I like this one because of the high risk, high reward factor. Only four cards, one encased autograph per box. And yeah, this one has uh, made its way nicely into the rotation of Topps Chrome that we get every year. As always, if you guys could please hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, go ahead and drop a sub. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, ending the year strong here in 2023. Going strong into 2024. So Topps released two products this week. Bowman Draft, uh, Jumbo, Super Jumbo, and the brand new uh, HTA on Wednesday, and then they came back on Friday and said, we're not done yet. We've got Topps Chrome Black for you. Two major releases in one week. It's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Woo! And uh, these releases have been coming out fast and furious by Topps. And uh, the price of draft, and I've never really been a draft guy. I've talked about it on the channel, how I've kind of not had as much time to pay attention to minor league baseball in recent years. And so with the prices of that product, uh, I decided to forego it this year in terms of a review on the channel. There's going to be other channels here on YouTube that are just so much better who know the prospects and, you know, can give you a more in-depth analysis of exactly who you're looking for. But still a guy who watches a lot of Major League Baseball, and I can tell you a little something about this 2023 rookie class, which has been phenomenal, featuring Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson, and more. And uh, today we're opening up four boxes. Each box coming in at right around 150 bucks. So again, four boxes around the cost of a jumbo box of draft, which is right around $550 or so. And uh, yeah, this one really needs no introduction. So we're just going to go ahead, get on into it. It's Topps Chrome. We are chasing Super Fractors. Uh, Super Fractor, one of ones. We are going to get one autograph per box and then three, car uh, three card pack and one encased card just comes like this little little sponge on top hiding your auto and then a pack in there let's try not to reveal that let's get a super fractor today here on release day so three card pack cards look good they are usually on a matte finish so let's take a look at the cards together see what they look like and shocker they look good no sh oh we got red we got that might be red to five frankie lindor is gonna kick it off let's take a look at this design Normally, it's more of a flat black matte kind of card. I am seeing that the player is raised off the card. Uh, a little bit of gloss, and then I'm noticing just a little bit more silver on this one. So, actually, it kind of reminds me. I've, I've seen Star Wars Black get opened. My buddy JML is the Star Wars guy in the community. And, uh, yeah, so I have seen this design before. Looks good. Looks in line with the other Topps Chrome Black designs that we have seen. Uh, let's go to the back. We've got a Randy, Randy Arazarina rumored. To be headed to the Mariners, maybe as part of a trade. Now, my Mariners, I don't even want to talk about them in this video. It's been a rough offseason. Losing Jared Kelnick, shedding roster, or shedding space, uh, cap space on the roster. Losing Eugenio Suarez as well. Not getting Shohei Otani, which was what it appeared that we had been building for, having not signed very many great free agents last year. Hoping to get Otani in the sweepstakes and then find out the Dodgers get him and deferring $680 million of his contract, which is crazy. Is this a red? Is this a red for Philadelphia? Oh, that's Bryce Harper to five. Uh-oh. Two of five, Bryce Harper. I have a feeling I know a, a certain Philly whiz kids here on YouTube, and uh, I don't envision owning this card for too long once they see this video, so I will just enjoy it while I have it. Bryce Harper to five is going to be our first parallel of the day. Great looking team color card. Color looks good this year. Yeah, that, that's a great looking card. What He's playing air guitar, though. I, 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 I don't know. Looks more like, uh, yeah, yeah. He looks more like a guitarist for a certain band from Philadelphia called CKY, who I have tattooed on my wrist, than he does uh, 
Yeah, what, what is he doing? What is he do, doing? All right, here's our first of four autos today. Green auto to 99 for the Pirates. Nothing good can come from this. Uh, Luis Ortiz to 99. Uh, Pirates are not one of the teams you want to see when you're chasing top rookies. They do have Kanan Smith and Ajigba, Luis Ortiz, and I think one other, maybe, maybe like Jason DeLay made it on in to this one. He was an update. God, I hope he, he's not, but Luis Ortiz is our first auto. Overall, though, I would say that box was a big dub hitting a, hitting a Harper to five. I don't know if that pays for the box, but I do know that Harper stuff does sell. The red to five, very limited. So, uh, hey, we'll settle for the not-so-great auto because we did get a great color there. But we're looking for a Super Fractor today. I'm trying to manifest it, trying to make it happen. Did pull a Super Fractor in our breaks from this product last year. I believe it was uh, Jordan Alvarez, actually. Uh, we got Shane Bieber. That's going to be Grayson Rodriguez on the back. And we should have a refractor. I think these are numbered to uh, 150. Of uh, Asturi Ruiz to 199, actually. 84 of 199. We will be doing some case breaks of this product on Saturday night. So you can head over to RunGoodLife.com. PYT is probably up. We'll probably kick off the night with a PYT. And then go from there. All right. Next out looks like... Is that gold? Is that gold or just standard? For the Marlins, it does look gold. We're looking for ooh, Marlins rookie. I can't remember. Is this like Max Meyer or I can't remember the hitter. Uh, Jordan Groshans. Jordan Groshans to 50 is our second auto. 26 of 50 on the gold. So two boxes, two color autos. It's not the best names. Jordan Groshans, okay. Remember he had more hype. He was with the... Was Groshans a Toronto prospect? I believe he was. So he would have been part of the, what Blue Jay, what trade did the Blue Jays make with the Marlins? Yeah, because in MLB The Show, I, I had Groshans on my team, and he was uh, he was from the uh, from the Blue Jays. Yeah, I've seen Groshans Blue Jays cards. I don't know what trade he was a part of. I'm trying to remember, and you don't have to leave a comment, because I'm sure I'll look it up after this video, and I'll remember. But as I record this video, it's not coming to me which trade he would be a part of. Yeah, I got, I got nothing. Uh, there's going to be Nolan Gorman, a rookie of Gorman. We have blue in the center of this pack. That's going to be Christian Yelich on the back. Blue should be to 150, I think. Red. It better not be Griffey. Uh, that is not. That's Matt McClain to 75. 51 of 75 on the Matt McClain. They've been doing a lot of things lately. They've been putting Griffey in Reds uniforms, Randy Johnson in Expos uniforms, and Tom Brady in Expos uniforms, too. As a matter of fact, that's the talk of the town in trading cards if you're a Bowman guy or gal or whoever. Not a uh, no color on this auto. Also, uh, is that Phillies? Phillies. I guess we're looking for Harper again. Not Harper. That is Cody Clemens. He's actually making the rounds on social media. Uh, the clip of him striking out uh, him striking out uh, Shohei Otani. Strike three. He strikes out uh, has been making the rounds of, like the Dodgers paid 700 million for this and it's Cody Clemens striking out Shohei on a 68 mile an hour uh, I don't know just get it across the plate pitch Cody Clemens uh, is going to be our third auto and hopefully we save the best for last final box of the day want to thank you for joining me shorter video today as we rip four boxes only 16 cards today again about $150 a box on this one and uh, we need a banger auto. We need a top rookie. I'm looking for Adley. I'm looking for Gunner. I'm looking for Corbin Carroll. Michael Harris is probably the most expected result. We pulled more Michael Harris in our group breaks than any other uh, any other top rookie. Uh, there's going to be Goldschmidt. We have purple on the back. Goldie. Josh Young, rookie. Rookies are actually, and that, that, might, be, that might even be numbered. Uh, rookies are actually somewhat hard to pull out of the uh, inner packs. And Salvador Perez to 150 on the uh, purple mini diamond. I'm curious to see if this Josh Young is numbered. It is not numbered. Got that big rookie logo in the background. I don't know if I like that or not. It's just one of those things that I don't like. Like, we, we, we see the rookie logo there. It's sufficient. I don't need that behind it. Just like on the Panini Prism set, the basketball set, I don't need the signature where it just says signatures at the top, like like we know. It's one of those things that they like hit you over the head with. 
It's a rookie card. You go, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got you, Tops. I got you. Final card of the day. I want to thank you for joining me. Let's see if we have any color or a good sweat. I don't think we have color unless it's a refractor. Once again, going to the Phillies, man. It was a Phillies, Wiz Kids kind of day today. They can have all these. Please be Bryce. That's not Bryce. That's Mark Appel, isn't it? No, that's Bailey Falter. Jesus. It's a real kick in the knackers, bro. Just a real ouchie, bro. Bailey Falter. I have no idea who this guy is. Bailey Falter on the auto. So four boxes. I honestly chose four boxes because I was like, okay, we up in four boxes. We're going to get at least one good auto. Nope. Nope. Uh, but thankfully, we did hit the Bryce Harper. But man, otherwise, what, what a rip today. Uh, take a look at... I can literally show you everything in like 30 seconds. Here were our base cards, Nolan Gorman rookie. Oh, so there's a rookie. So that has to be some sort of variation then. That'll probably be a rookie variation. Grayson Rodriguez and uh, Randy Rosarina. So variation, Josh Young, probably top load that. And then here were our color of the day, Salvador Perez to 150. Matt McLean to 75. Estuary Ruiz to 199. The Bryce to 5, our best card of the day without question and... I have a feeling that that one will not be in my PC for very long. Josh Young as well on the rookie variation. Our four autographs today. They got worse as we opened more boxes. Bailey Falter, Cody Clemens, Jordan Groshon to 50, and Luis Ortiz to 99. Um, yeah, so hitting a good auto, you might have to open more than four boxes. Again, it's $150 a box. Uh, this is one I like. I, I like it because it's not like a brand new product. It's been around for a few years. The cards look absolutely incredible. I don't think that watching a video or watching a break, it does not do it justice how good these cards look in hand. So if you haven't ever seen any, be on the lookout at your local card shop or um, or at a show. Just, just hold one in hand. Take a look at it. You'll just see how much different it looks than any of the other tops chromes, especially like just the base chromes or even the sapphires. It's just, it looks so much different. I think it fits nicely with the tops chrome lineup. I know that they're printing more cards. I know that they're printing more sets. This is one of the ones that I hope ends up being a mainstay for years to come. I like it. It's unique. It's different. It's a five card box. Some people just prefer, you know, you, you want to spend 150 and open 24 packs. I get it. Uh, on the flip side, me personally, I kind of like, you know, I, I, I have 30 boxes of five row commons in my garage. I don't need more cards. I'd prefer less cards. And I think this is one of the ones, price point, 150 bucks, five cards or four cards. It competes with Inception, which came out last week. Uh, also around 150 bucks for seven cards, one autograph as well. So I think that this one, if you compare the two, I know Inception has the rookie patch autographs and things like that. I think I like Topps Chrome a little more. I like it because of the Chrome name. Uh, I do think that autographs will be a little bit easier. Better autographs will be a little bit easier to pull out of Chrome than out of Inception. We've opened cases and cases upon Inception. And uh, yeah, we, we've seen some of the very worst on the checklist. That is going to do it for me. Let me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Topps Chrome Black. Will you be buying any over the weekend? going to hop into some breaks with us. Again, we'll be live Saturday night, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Breaks are on sale. Rungoodlife.com. And we will catch up next time on Down the Road.